Hi guys, I've got a lovely video for you today. Um, I'm using up the stamps that we made and also the stencils that we made in my last two videos. Um, I'll pop the link to them if you haven't seen them below. Um, but I thought I'd make some papers and also I'm going to show you how I made this lovely little journal. It'd probably be in two parts because um, we'll make the papers first and then we'll make the journal so we're all ready. And then I can do a craft along with me to make the journal. So this is just a lovely little journal with a button closure, if I can open it up, um, like this. And we've got a little journal, beautiful paper, pa papers, um, a couple of paper clips and a couple of little pockets. Um, and these are the, the papers that are absolutely gorgeous, like this. And these are the stamps that we made on here. So um, that's what we're going to end up doing. But I will show you the papers first. So this is a lovely blue one. I've used um, the Tim Holtz, the Ranger Distress Oxide inks on these. So we've got a lovely blue one, greeny one, sort of like a sea one. Um, I've used the feathers on this one, um, which is gorgeous. Um, this one is a lovely orangey one. And then we've got a lovely paisley um, yellow and green. So they're very, very vibrant, very gorgeous colours. So I'm going to show you how I made them. So first of all, I've got this lovely paper here. Now this is um, a pad that I've got. Um, this is a mixed media paper. Um, it's 120 pound weight. Um, they're A4 size sheets, which is 21 centimeters by 29.7 centimeters or 8.3 inches by 11.7 inches. And it's really good thickness to it. And it's a really, really lovely paper. And it's an ideal thickness to make the journals with. So what I did to start with, I'm going to do another greeny bluey one. Okay, so I've used Lucky Clover, Twisted Citron, what's this one, Salty Ocean and Peacock Feather. So they're the four colours that I'm going to use. So I'm going to just plop the colours down here on the side. Yeah, so pop. This is just to make the background. So we just need a bit of um, ink so we can have a nice coloured background and then we can just spritz it with a bit of water like this let's have a look a bit of water on here just spritz your paper a little bit as well just to get everything wet like that i've just got a bog standard old paintbrush so i'm just gonna just pop some ink down here doesn't really matter how you go because I just want the background to be coloured like this so we've got a nice colour on the back you can do it however you like you don't have to use inks you can use uh, watercolours um, you can use pencils you can use anything anything that you want to stamp on so you just fludge it down like so and then what I'm going to do I'm just going to quickly dry it with my heat gun so that's just the base colour and then what I'm going to do I'm just going to take it and blop it onto the ink that we've got there just so we've got look at that looks lovely then I'm going to quickly dry it again so you want to keep going until you're happy with your background so let's just Block this on here like that. Okay, I'm going to wet this a little bit more. Just try and get the rest of it up so we don't waste anything. There we are, that looks good, doesn't it? this ink on here a minute right now I'm going to just put a few little droplets of water on there just to, so we can take them back off again pop them on there because of these are oxides it does all funny things to it so it's really nice it's almost looks like little raindrops have landed on it Hopefully you can see where it's taken the colour out. 
think it looks really nice. So there. Hopefully you can see that. I don't know whether I can pop that up there, look. Whether that's going to go into focus or not. I think that looks really, really nice. So carry on until you're actually happy with your with your background. I'm just going to give this a quick blitz with the dryer again just to make sure we're dry before we start stamping. Okay, I think that should do. So there we go, that's nice and dry. Right, so the ones that I'm going to use, I've got this one that we did, which is just a little round one. Um, I'm going to pop some little polka dots on there, the polka dots with the little holes in it. I've got another circle one, this is going to be circles, and then a little one there, and then I've got a little acetate one with lots of little polka dots on it. So I'm going to start off with the biggest one. So I'm going to use stays on ink just in case we want to um, add any more um, oxides and wet it again later because um, obviously this will it won't affect the stays on then. So let's hope these come out properly. You press down nice and hard. Look, that looks lovely. So then you just keep popping these on like that. You can use any stamps. If you haven't made any of these stamps, then you can use any stamps that you've already got. Um, but I just thought if you've made all your stamps, you need some ideas of how to use them. So you can just make your own papers and then they are your own unique papers that you've made. Which are lovely. So even it's sort of like Valentine's or Christmas or Easter, you can make little hearts and do some heart paper. You could put little bunny rabbits, cut out little silhouettes of bunny rabbits for Easter and little Easter eggs. Um, and make your own Easter cards, which is really nice. This looks like little wheels actually, doesn't it? I'm going to speed this up a little bit so you don't get too bored with me printing the same thing. Okay, so that's a little round one, so that looks quite nice, doesn't it? So I thought we'd have some little polka dots. You can do them in any colour, so if you wanted to put um, other ink, colour ink on there, you can, if you know you're not going to um, wet it afterwards. Let's have some peacock feathers, Let's see what this comes out like, shall we? Put some ink on there. So look at that, doesn't that look nice? Oopsie daisy. So very juicy ink pads. And there, so that looks really nice. Beautiful, I love this peacock feather. It's a gorgeous colour. And then we'll have some little round ones. This is like a little, um, it's almost like a little target, actually. So I'm going to have this in, it stays on. So we'll just have some little random round ones. So you just build it up with your stencils and your um, stamps. I'll stencil on this as well in a minute. There we go. And then I've got itty bitty dot one here, which I think I'll probably do that in a colour. What should we have? Shall we see if we can have the twisted citron? See how bright that comes out. And just about see it. So you just build it up, and I think it looks really, really nice.
Okay, so I think that's that one done. And then I think I will. What do we want? Should we have a bit of the dark green? A few dark green. And these are little polka dots with the holes in. So let's see how they come out. Ooh, they're nice. Okay, so that's a little polka dots with the holes in. So I'm going to quickly blast it so we can dry it and then I'm going to actually do some stenciling over the top. Oops, there we go. Right, I'm going to use one of these little makeup sponges and I'm going to go again for the twisted citron to see if we, that will come out. I'm going to use the bit of netting. So this was off either, what did I say, it was off potatoes or walnuts, bag of walnuts I think. So I'm just going to add a little bit of that to it, look. Ooh, that looks nice, doesn't it? And then I will add a little bit, I think, of um, gesso over the top just to add the white, a little bit of white to it. Oops. I'm hoping you can see this, I think it looks lovely. So you just carry on until you, you think you've had enough, you've done enough on there. So look, let's see, do you think you can see that a bit better? Hopefully it will focus for you. Um, but I think that looks really nice. Okay, let's just blast it quickly. And then I'm going to add just a little bit of gesso. And what should we have? I'm going to just add the bigger piece of netting on here. Use that one. So I'm just going to dip my finger in it. Okay, let's start up here in the corner. Don't have to have too much on there. That looks quite nice, doesn't it? Let's wipe the gesso off my finger. Right, now let's see if we have a few little dots. Um, let's just put, because we've got dots, we can just... This is the, the chalk um, paint pen. Well, it's liquid chalk, um, which is for drawing on... Um, boards oh glass I think it is so if you've got a marker like just drawing on glass but it comes out quite nice pop those out of the way so you can do any little random things that you want to do and these are good as well. You can cut all these up to make tags. Um, you can put them up to make um, shapes to go into your um, art journals. All sorts of things. And it's such fun to do. I think I'm getting quite into all this making a mess. I think it's lovely. There we go. So 
so there we go guys so that's another sheet and I think that looks really nice and it's just nice to just let yourself do it do you know what I mean try not to think about it too much just get your stamps that you want to use stick them on make it all nice put a bit of color on it decide what color you want and just make it and I think it just it just they will it will sort of like flow quite nicely so these are the other ones let me pop this one to the side because it's a little bit wet so this is the paisley one so these are just little stamps that I've used um, that's the flower stamp one this is some gesso spots on there and then we've got beautiful feather one and what I've done here I've just flicked some black paint onto there as well um, and then that's the other blue one so that one looks like bubbles they look, 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 bleh, look like little bubbles on there which I thought was really nice and that's the one we've just done so there we go there we go guys if I can speak um, make yourself some papers and um, in the next one I will show you how to make this lovely journal so we can make a little journal cover with that all right guys well thank you for joining me um, and I will see you next time all right take care bye bye <music>